In this video we're going to show how you can use your calculator to obtain log values. And the first question that we've got here is to find the logarithm of 14.75. And because there's no base mentioned, it's implied that we're talking about a base of 10, which is called an ordinary log. So on our calculator, we'll just go paste log to get common log and we're going the log of 14.75 because that's the only um, number we're not doing any operations or whatever there's no need to close the brackets but it won't hurt if you do okay so the answer to the question that we're after is 1.1688 if we go to four decimal places. All right. Second question, we've been asked to find the log of a fairly small number. Once again, it's the common log, so it's base 10. And we'll just bring up the calculator. So we need to press clear. So this time it is the ordinary log of 0 0.00012 close brackets equals so this time because we've got a number that's smaller than 1 we're going to get a negative value so the answer is negative 3.9208 Next question, we're doing natural logs this time. Remember the natural log of 3 can also be written as the log of base E 3. Okay, so bringing up our calculator to work this one out, we need to press clear. And this time you'll notice that there's a button over here which is the natural log. So it's natural log of 3, close brackets is equal. I guess we didn't need to write down here that the natural log was the log base E, but it will help us um, in the next video when we work in reverse. Very important for that. Okay, this time we're using natural log, but this time the number's presented as a fraction. So there's actually two ways to do this. We can, we can enter the fraction part into the calculator as 3 divided by 7, which is what's meant here. Or we can use the uh, fraction key and enter it that way. So what I'll do is I'll just draw the picture. There's a fraction key on the calculator that looks a bit like that. Okay, so press clear. So natural log of 3 divided by 7, close brackets, definitely close brackets this time, equals, and we get negative uh, 0 0.8473 to four decimal places. If we press clear, we can also do it as a fraction. So this time, natural log, press the fraction key, Put in our numerator of 3, use our um, sort of navigation button here to come down to the denominator, put in a 7, now navigate off to the side so we're out of the fraction, close the brackets and equals and we get the same answer as what we had before. So either of those two methods um, depends a little bit whether you're familiar with the use of fraction keys or not on calculators. Okay, so moving on to the next question. This time we're not using um, ordinary logs, we're not using natural logs. This time we're using log base 2. Now, you need to use a log rule. You need to use the um, change of base rule, which I'm not going to cover here except to say that this can be rewritten 
has the log of 64 over the log of 2 or the natural log of 64 over the natural log of 2. It doesn't matter. So remember this one is your ordinary log, in other words base 10, and here we're talking about natural log base E. So we'll bring up our calculator to work this one out. That's clear. So we want to do log 64, close brackets, divide by, it's very important that you close those brackets there because we, we want to divide the answer to log 64 by log 2. We don't want to divide just the 64 by log 2. And we get the answer 6, which is no surprise because 64 is 2 to the power of 6. Um, it can also be done by natural logs. The natural log of 64, close the brackets, divided by the natural log of 2, also comes out at 6. And then the next one, which will be the last question that we will look at. Here we've got a base of 9. That's very unusual, very atypical. So we need to use the change of base theorem to write this as the log of 5.92 over the log of 9. Or, if you prefer, natural logs. So bringing up the calculator, that's clear. So we've got the log of 5.92, close brackets, divide by log of 9. And we get 0 0.8094 to four decimal places. We could also do the same with natural logs. So the natural log of 5.92 divided by the natural log of 9 is, is the same answer.